project I used a 10 by 12 inch picture frame. I prepare all my frames the same. I remove the clips, I remove the backing, I remove the glass, I clean up the glass, and then I use Elmer's glue and I put it around the perimeter of the back of the frame where the glass would sit. Then I replace the glass and I put Elmer's glue around the perimeter one more time. This serves two purposes. It helps to hold the glass in place, plus it helps to prevent any resin leaks if you put resin on the other side. This needs to dry overnight and sometimes for up to 24 hours depending on how much glue you use. For this project I had picked up this stencil almost a year ago. It was actually in June of 2022 and um, I decided that I was only going to use the center ballerina. So what I did was I flipped it upside down onto my copy machine, scanned it in, and then printed out just the center ballerina. I taped the picture to the back of the glass and then I had went ahead and started painting her in. I painted all the flesh areas, I painted the point shoes, and in the beginning I put the straps for the the ribbons for the point shoes around the calves where they show in the stencil, but they're really not supposed to be there. They're supposed to be around the ankle, so I ended up um, moving them back to around the ankles where they're really supposed to be. The thing about painting on glass is it's more difficult than painting on canvas because you can only put one um, coat on and then you have to wait you know the 15 or 20 minutes until it dries before you put a second coat on or else you'll pull up the first coat so I feel like it's a little bit more difficult but the good thing about it is is if you make any mistakes or you go over the areas where you don't want the paint to be you can just come in with a little razor blade and scrape the paint off and it, it really uh, works out well Next, I painted her hair black, and really the only part of her face that I painted was I painted, it's supposed to be a, like a profile um, where she's looking down, so I just put a little eyelash and um, maybe a little mouth. I'm not very good at painting faces, so um, I thought that I was best at leaving it like that. Now, if you guys are better at painting faces, that's great, you know, go ahead, but I thought this looked really nice just like that. So the next thing I did, which I had forgot to do earlier, was I flipped it over and I put painter's tape along the perimeter of the back. And this is just an extra precaution against resin leaks. And it's in your best interest to do it the day after your glue dries so that you don't forget. Now the best way to tell whether you've painted every area or if it's thin in areas is just to pull the paper back for a minute. I really want to leave the paper on but I'm just checking because I think there's some thin areas in the hair and see how you can see that one area I need to go over on the hair but the rest of it looks like it's covered pretty good except for um, yeah see right there so I go back over that with some black paint. Next I find a paint color that I feel will go really good with the glass that I'm going to be putting on for her skirt and I go ahead and I paint the top of her outfit and I actually have to wait you know about 20 minutes between coats and I have to put a couple of coats on and after that's done drying then I take my glass and I um, go ahead and put that on for her skirt now this is Ashland decorative filler and it's a uh, blue and this I feel like they carry this at Michaels all the time this color this is one of the ones they carry all the time and um, next I take something called glitterific it's like a glitter glue and I go ahead and I paint that over the top of her outfit just to put a little bit of glitter and add some interest to it and I think it turns out real pretty like that after the glitter glue is dry I take some painters tape and dab around on the glass to get rid of any residue or stray pieces of glass that might be on it it's a good way to clean up the glass and not get any fingerprints on it at the same time. So once that done, I, is done, I start drizzling the resin over the crushed glass first and then around the perimeter and up into the corners. So the resin I'm using for this project is Jade Diction Resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin that you mix slowly in a cup for three to five minutes, scraping the bottom and scraping the sides as you do mo with most resins. So, um, 
with this resin and all resins, you have to make sure that you um, spread it out evenly on the glass. You do need to move it into the corners and along the sides where you want it to go. It will not go there on its own unless you're totally flooding the glass. So what I'm using for this is a little spreader which works a lot better than the um, spoon that I was using a minute ago. And the thing about the spreader is I thought it was silicone. I'm a little bit confused because I ended up throwing one out last week because I didn't wipe it off and I thought the the um, resin would just pop off of it, but it didn't. So you have to wipe it off with a baby wipe after you're done using it. But it really does allow you to spread the resin out very nicely. I did hit it with the kitchen torch to get rid of the bubbles. And then just when I thought it was done, I decided it needed something more and I started sprinkling glass around the inside perimeter of the frame. And I just thought this um, looked so pretty like that. It just, it just seemed like it needed something more. Anyway, um, this needs to sit on a flat level surface. Now this J Diction resin that I bought says um, that you can demold it in four hours. So I'm assuming that you can touch it in four hours. That's if something's in a mold. S um, but I thought the last time I did it, it feel, felt a little sticky. So I will check with this one and let you know after four hours is up. So um, flat level surface for at least four hours at temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. All resins are different. You need to read the directions for the resin that you are using. Hi everyone. So my ballerina is done and I love the way she turned out, but I actually had a problem with her and I'll tell you what it was and what I did to fix it. So um, um, after I was done, I held it up and looked and I could see through some areas of the skin and the arms. I had put the paint on too thin. And remember when I said, um, so I had it laying flat and I said, be sure to pull the paper back so that you can see if you know you need some more paint in some areas. Well, I did that, but it was laying, you know, kind of down like this. So you really need to pick it up before you put the glass on, of course, take it all off the back and hold it up to the light. And um, I hadn't done that. So, so what I had done was just looked at it with the paper off the back with it holding down like this. And then I said it looked good except for the hair and I added some more black to the hair. And then I um, put the glass on with it laying flat and took it right back and resined it. So after the resin, you know, had set, that's when I picked it up and looked at it with the light behind it. And I said, oh my gosh, it needs more paint. Well, um, so what I did to fix it, so don't go into a panic if that happens. And it's actually happened to me before with stenciling. I just flipped it over and I went ahead and put another coat of paint on this side, just the flesh. And um, I mean, that's really all you have to do. If you're really fussy about it, you could put a little coat of resin on this side if you want, um, but it's, it's really not uh, necessary. Maybe if it's um, artwork that you're selling or something, you might wanna do that, but otherwise it's fine. And um, it looks real. <laughs> That looks real pretty now, but I can't believe I did that. Yeah, I should have um, taken the paper right off of the back. And I know you need to put the paper back on it so that you can see where to put the glass on and everything. But um, it, that's what I should have done. Sometimes I get so excited about putting the resin on because I can't wait to see what it looks like that I kind of skip some steps. So I don't know if any of you guys are like that, but um, I really like, you know, to get going on it. And anyway, this glass around here was a last minute decision, which I think is real pretty. I almost think maybe I should have just put it down at the bottom. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, it, when you have it up against the wall of the glass looks, the blue glass actually looks prettier. 
But anyway, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I sure did. Oh, I was going to tell you what I did with the stenciling. So um, one of the projects that I did with the stenciling and the black marker, the same thing happened when I looked at it. You know, you're stenciling it, it's laying flat and you don't see the light isn't shining through it. And of course, after um, I picked it up, then you can see, oh my gosh, it looks like it has some spotty spots. And instead of doing the back, which is what I'm going to do next time, I actually did the front. I just went over the entire thing again with the marker, followed the lines, and then re-resined it. Um, but you know, if you have a big project, to re-resin it is a lot. So there's really no reason why you can't just do it on the back. So anyway, I think this turned out real good. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. If you um, enjoy the channel or want to be notified of future videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.